Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Stay Hungry and today I'm going to be talking about why you still need to build an email database. Welcome back. In this social media age, which is lovely, you still need to build an email database. Contrary to popular belief, email is not dead. Print is even older and that's not dead either. Why? In a nutshell, building an email database puts you in control. And as business owners, we like control, right? We love it. We wouldn't have gone into business otherwise. But most importantly, it's smart thinking. Social media can be amazing if it's deployed correctly and you pay for social media ads. At Codebreak, it's invaluable for helping grow our clients' businesses. But if, say, you put all your marketing eggs in Facebook's basket, then you fall foul of Facebook's ever-changing terms and conditions, or their algorithms, or their bots, well, you're galloping up diarrhea drive. And we see this happen a lot right here in the real world. A successful business person I know focused her marketing on Instagram. Her post regularly reached about 30,000 people. So who can blame her, right? Then, without changing how or what she posted, her reach dropped overnight to 5,000 people. Still a number most business owners would be happy with, but to lose five-sixths of your audience through no fault of your own, it was a bitter pill for her to swallow. So she ranted and she raved, but was ultimately shouting into the dark, so had to change her strategy. Facebook, Instagram, they can do what they want. Any social media can. Their platforms are free to use. If you don't like it, don't use them. That's the harsh reality. Take advantage whilst you can, of course, but spread the risk by doing data capture of your own. Email addresses, postal addresses, mobile phone numbers, whatever you can legally obtain to communicate with people who are most interested in what you have to offer. Then, should your Facebook ad account suddenly get deactivated, something else that happens all the time, even more so recently, all is not lost. Now, lots of business owners do have an email database, but they don't actually communicate with it. Madness. When lockdown number one hit, only then did they start firing emails out, usually sales-led rubbish that did their reputations more harm than good. You don't hear off a business for years, and then they bombard you out of the blue if we were talking about a person rather than a business. You'd block them straight away, wouldn't you? Or call the cops. You should always be in touch with your database during the good times and the bad times, sending information of value. Like with a good social media post, an email should educate, inspire or entertain. Okay, drop in the odd cheeky sell, but if all your emails do is sell stuff, you're missing the point. Use paid for ads to sell. You won't build and strengthen trust and loyalty by spamming people. You have competitors out there, some of them may be aggressive, so if your customers are being approached, they'll be less likely to leave if your company has been kept front of mind. But if your customers think, oh, actually, when was the last time I heard of XYZ? You're in trouble. Using email will protect you as well as promote you. And for some weird reason, not many businesses do it properly, if at all. So now's your chance if you haven't grabbed it yet. If you're worried about staying front of mind with customers, book a free discovery call with myself or Joel via codebreak.co.uk. We have a few tricks up our sleeve, you know. Stay safe and stay hungry.